Hi water signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and tuning in to your reading. We'll be looking at the person who's going to change your life in love, so we'll see what we can learn about this person. It is a focused love reading on the water signs, but also if you're dealing with a water sign, to the cross watchers, this reading can be for you as well. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you are after a private reading, please reach out directly uh, and we can go ahead and try to arrange that. Um, otherwise, let's see what comes up in this reading here for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, the one that will change your life in love. Okay, water signs. So we definitely have someone older coming up here, okay? Now, I feel like for the ladies watching, if you're after a gentleman, you're going to have someone older coming in. Uh, to the gents watching, you'll have someone um, older coming in here as well. So really, um, there's, there's a really powerful maturity about this person that's going to change your life here. Whether they are male or female, um, there could be an age gap between the both of you. And this person has come into your life to teach you about yourself. Uh, a past life connection could very well indicate that this is someone who you were once connected to in a past life. So you might have been connected in love in a previous lifetime. Uh, I feel like this is someone who's sort of opening up your eyes and opening up your vision. You can see this close up of... of of the eye so I feel like this is someone who's going to be very protective over you um, and this is someone who's really going to be nurturing and really try to look after you as best as they can uh, the reason they want to do this is because they have a protective energy to them and you bring it out in this person so this is someone that really wants to care for you really will care for you care about you protect you uh, and this is I mean we've got the couple coming up so I wonder if this person is in some way even going to be unavailable. So maybe for some of you water signs, this is someone who's going to come into your life, do something for you, and they could be unavailable. I mean, they could be married, they could be taken, but you could share a really powerful connection. And then it's like they're just a chapter in your life and they move on to someone else. Uh, and maybe that's why that past life is like a past life calling. Uh, for others, it's very likely that the two of you will end up together into older age. You know, you've got the mature couple here. So it's like you have this growth that happens with this person that you weren't prepared for. But it's like they're sort of going to teach you wrong from right. Uh, they'll teach you, you know, you, you can't do this in a relationship. and You can do this and this upsets me and this hurts me. So there's a lot you'll learn about yourself when you're with them, how you're coming across, especially anything to do with maturity and immaturity. It's like they'll highlight those facets of your life, uh, of your personality, and you'll sort of know how you're coming across as, as a lover, as a partner, as a girlfriend, boyfriend, as a wife, as a husband. So there's there is a sense of maturity here. And it's, it's a very reliable energy. You'll always be able to rely on this person. And I think that's probably because they've been through a lot. Um, because life experience makes us mature, you know, when we go through certain things in life. So maybe they've been through a lot in love or just in life in general. And it has made them who they are. Um, and I feel like you're really going to benefit from that. Could also be an ex coming back in because it's the past life connection. So you might have had... A life together you might have lived together you might have been married you might have had a relationship maybe short term perhaps it was long term but there is a history that the both of you share um, with one another so that's very powerful in itself No particular sign has come up just yet. Okay, this person you might meet through work, in the working sphere, through money or at a very beautiful venue. This person presents themselves very beautifully, okay? Very elegant with that nine of pentacles. They could earn quite a bit of money here as well and they could be quite successful. Five of wands reversed with the nine of swords reversed. Okay, this person is... 
coming in with an energy which I think has something perhaps to do with their maturity. They're coming in with an energy where they they don't want any more drama, okay? They sort of want to let that go. They've been through that. They've done that whole thing. They won't want that with you, okay? That's not what they're after. Uh, they sort of want to just get over that sort of stage of, of having like small dramas or fights over little things and significant things because I feel like it's this isn't someone who's going to be like competitive in a sense where they're jealous or they're competitive over you because the five of wands is reversed. I feel like this person is very open to the people they connect with and communicate with in life. You know, they talk to people from all different walks of life. They're very non-judgmental. Uh, Nine of Swords tells me they're quite collected in their thoughts. So they're, they're, they're a good communicator here. And I feel like, I feel like you will have, you won't have that many obstacles with this person, I don't think. It's not really coming up in the cards. And I don't know, I feel like if this is a past connection and you've, you guys have been together before, it's almost like you know them and then they'll change your life. This time around, they're different. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, especially if there was a lot of drama or fighting or competitive energy or jealousy, it could be that that's sort of gone from this person. They needed to be away from you to get mature or you needed to be away from them to um, gain in maturity yourself. You know, it could be a two-way two -way street here type thing. Maybe it's something the both of you needed. Okay, nine of cups reversed, five of pentacles reversed. Something about a wish. It's not exactly the person you've wished for, but it's the person you need. Something about them is something that you've always wanted in a person or in a partner may not be to your liking, water signs. But over and all, uh, uh, overall, you could be very happy with them and you will be very happy with them. Nine of Cups is normally like the wish card, the dream card coming true. Um, so something about this person that you've wished may not come true or may not be exactly how you like it. But as I said, it doesn't mean that that's just it. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles reversed, this is probably a good sign that you're seeing this. You'll never have hardship with them. You'll always be supported. They'll never neglect you. They'll never leave you guessing where you stand in the relationship. They'll never leave you out in the cold. They'll always have a, a spot here for you in their heart, in their life, um, financially, emotionally, physically. They'll never neglect you. They'll never ignore you because of your energy. And you're going to feel really, really special with this person. And I think having someone so reliable and so constant in your life is really going to change how you look at love. Um, you know, you could have a very beautiful partnership with this person. Um, they'll be there for companionship. They may not tick all the boxes, but they'll tick most here for you, water signs. And I think you'll be happy. You'll be happy where this goes and where this takes you. Uh, there is that, that powerful message of the past. So again, it could be something about not getting your wish from the past and something may happen like you might not get a wish for something you used to wish for and then suddenly this person comes into your life um it could also be that they're more of a realist here as well okay optimistic behavior is maybe more than nine of cups upright it's reversed makes me think that this person is more of a realist maybe even more pessimistic at times um it's like they're they may be like a bit of a tough personality here 
but it's like life's knocked them around a little bit so they've got this element of like street smarts they know what they're talking about they know what's going on in the world because they've been through the ringer before i will leave it at that water signs i thank you again so so much for watching i do hope this has been helpful uh, and hopefully we shall be uh, connecting again very very soon so thanks again everyone bye for now